Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining me. So I made a post um, a few days ago about a big video that I have coming up and uh, you should know that this is not that video. Um, I've got a bit of a cold and the, the content in that video is gonna take me 25 to 30 minutes to get through. So I just wanna make sure that I have the, the energy um, to deliver the message the right way, but it's going to be a big video for me and um, it'll be coming up very soon. It'll be about disclosure, cosmic selves, um, ancient times and the entourage of light and you know all the things that I love to talk about here on this channel. You should also know that I have my Christmas specials up on my website so you can get $25 off any services, you can get $25 off any of the products that are on the website. But you should know that if you order a Soul Portal, you may not get it before Christmas. Um, I sold a lot more when I launched the product a few weeks ago than I was expecting and I'm um, working hard to fulfill those, but they do take a long time to make. So I appreciate your patience with all of that, you guys. Um, if you want to know where your order is in the process, you can email me and I'd be happy to, to let you know. Anyway, to the message. So last video, I mentioned going in and getting the builder and I'm glad that came through and it happened kind of spontaneously right before I started the video. Um, that intuition came through to mention that and uh, yeah, glad it made it in the video because I've gotten a lot of emails about going to get the builder. I've gotten a lot of comments about it and people have referenced that in session quite a bit. So that was a little surprising to me. I knew it was important information, but I didn't know it would you know, hit the right spot in the way that it did. With that being the case, I want to give you another tip for those of you who are into quantum jumping and using the Akash and exploring timelines and um, you know exchanging energies with those timelines, go into a timeline where there's a version of you who has what is known as infinite resonance. And this is something your guides are very familiar with. If you ask them to take you into a timeline where you have infinite resonance, they know what to do with that and they would happily take you there. So we are in um, you know, the process of ascending our consciousness, um, reclaiming our gifts, remembering you know, who we are, what our tools are, and where we come from, and all that stuff. All of that is much easier to get through when you have an infinite reserve of belief at your disposal. And if you want an example of somebody who has an inf infinite resonance, and somebody who uses that to their advantage every single day, um, look no further than Lee Carroll. You can't do the things esoterically that he's doing and that we, so many of us are trying to do um, without infinite resonance. Unwavering belief in who you are and what you're capable of and having the courage to apply that to, re to your reality in whatever way you deem fit. So in the spirit of past lives and alternate timelines and uh, quantum aspects of us, I have mentioned this before, I wanna say it again, because it's really important. When I'm in session and I go to past lives, when I'm in my own records and I'm working in past lives, I know the level of consciousness of the aspect that I'm observing. And sometimes I pop into the vision and I can see that there's kind of a, a disturbance created by my awareness. And I can tell how conscious the individual is that I'm observing because they'll respond when the visuals start. They'll kind of take a look around. They'll, you know, kind of, it looks like someone said their name and they don't know who. And it's really interesting. Um, and uh, it's almost like the field is calm until this different aspect jumps in and suddenly there's a disturbance in it. Um, you know, like someone tossed a rock in a pond. So I've always thought of this um, and I know that they are actually aware that we're observing when we see that, but I'm, you know, not super familiar with the inner workings of how that's possible. I know we are all existing in the eternal now. The same now moment that I'm occupying is the same now moment that I'm jumping in and observing, um, you know, alternate versions of me in. 
So I thought that was interesting and I always keep that in the forefront of my awareness when I'm doing this work because I feel like it's important to honor and acknowledge who we're witnessing and you know what they're doing and um, you know making it known what we're there for as well. So the other night <clears throat> I was laying in bed and um, I got a really profound ringing in my ear, you know, just kind of that quick psh, comes on and it dissipates and you're like, wow, that was really something. And, you know, usually the answer we get back as to why that happens is that it's, um, you know, a shifting in the DNA. There's been some kind of shift in our frequency and the response kind of rings through our cellular structure. So I was laying in bed at night. <clears throat> I felt the, the big shift in my field. And, um, you know, I asked my higher self, what was that? Higher self responds almost immediately and lets me know that I had an observer. Didn't know who was observing, um, you know, obviously a version of me, didn't know where they were from, what their intention was, or, you know, what they were looking for pretty much. But I was aware and it uh, occurred to me when I'm jumping into past lives or different timelines that that version that I'm observing probably has the same sensation that I just experienced. And I was thinking, you know, whoa, that version jumped in to observe something that I was doing, something that I had, um, looking to solve the puzzle that they're working with by seeing how I'm dealing with mine here. So that really cemented in me how important it is to be mindful and conscious of the state that I'm in when I'm jumping in and observing, um, you know, whatever it is that I'm looking for. So I want to leave you with this message today and I want to bring it forward, um, you know, as lovingly as I can be the version of you that quantum aspects of you want to observe and take notes from. Be the version of you in this now moment, future lifetimes of you look backwards to see what they're doing during the shift and say, oh my gosh, wow, I was awake. I was an Akashic Records practitioner. I was bringing messages and helping the family wake up and remember who they are and take their power back. We are all in the eternal now moment, yes. But that doesn't mean that you sitting here with your resonance in the now can't be mindful and respectful and honor the experiences of those versions of you that carved the path for you that allowed you to find yourself here. Be aware in this now moment during the shift with all the potential that's here that you have the opportunity to make your future aspects very proud because they're going to want to know why they have all the potential that they have. They want to know why their life is so good. They want to know how humanity and you personally beat all the odds and overcame what at times almost certainly looks like the path of termination. Be mindful of the watchers. Everything in your reality changes when you realize that you are on a stage and that there are stadiums full watching you. Stadiums full. Cryon's words, not mine. You think you're small. You think you're insignificant. You think you're unimportant. You think you're unloved. Drop the veil and see for yourself. Because the message that you get and what you see there will be the direct opposite of that. How worthy are you? How thoroughly do you believe in yourself and what you're capable of? How firmly do you stand in your truth against these lower frequencies that would try to force you back into line? Go into your Akash, go into the quantum realities, find a version of you that has infinite resonance and use that to your advantage every day because I don't know about you, but I'm sick and tired of living in a world with all of these, you know, benevolent masters walking around pretending like they don't know that when all I want 
is to let them know who they are and I know that if I know who I am and if I stay curious about myself and if I you know <clears throat> sit down on camera and bring messages forward and give you guys the same curiosity and you know reveal some of the answers that you've been looking for it will create a situation where you believe in yourself and everything that you develop internally you are broadcasting into the field and making available for everybody else everybody on earth right now deserves to know who they are everybody on earth right now deserves to know where they came from and why they came here you're either a productive part of that process or you're a counterproductive part of that process stop playing games with the ego stop belittling yourself and telling yourself that you're not worthy and listening to the chatter that is trying to embed that in you rise above it see who you really are accept that for all that it is and believe in yourself the way that the creator believes in you thank you very much you guys i will see you very soon goodbye